See, I rented this Waffle House out for her, y'all. Surprise! <laughs> Nobody's in oh here. Oh my god! This is so romantic! <laughs> <laughs> See, nobody's in here. You know, we got it locked in. Locked in. <laughs> Your man could never. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, looking for the next gig and like, why I gotta perform. And it's a couple clubs I wanna hit just because I wanna make sure that I'm prepared so that I know that when I go on stage, hey, make us laugh. Now, don't be serious. What are you smirking for? Why are you laughing? Why did tell you to laugh? Does it make us laugh? You know how intimidating it is? It's not that intimidating. Calm down. <laughs> I just think you're overreacting. Because you are funny, you're totally funny. You just need to get out of your head, you know. But what if I what, what if I tell a joke and, and like no one laughs? And it's just like I'm just. Then they don't fucking laugh. Who gives a fuck what they think? Do you think you're funny? I think you're funny. Then you're fucking funny. Put the world to shame. Put them to like, shame. Who, who are you coming? I'm trying for? to wake them up. You coming for <laughs> Summer Walker? You coming for? I'm not coming for anybody. I'm just trying to create my own lane. Okay. I'm not coming for anybody. But they all are great influences. Mm -hmm. And I would love to have an opportunity to collaborate with them. Who, who are some of your your favorites like that you grew up on? Honestly, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, Mariah Carey, Beyonce. Basically, basically. <laughs> Yeah, he, he an all right singer. But if I can sing, like, take lessons, I'd be like, I would sing similar to, like, Brent Fayez or hmm. Bryson Tiller. What's some other, who's your top five musical artists? What, what genre? Or just... Just top five of all time. That's so hard. Ain't even starting from nowhere. Um... I'm just gonna start naming Anita Baker. Love her soulfulness. Marvin Gaye. His range. Otis Redding. And Jamie Foxx. Like without naming artists, like what, how would you describe your style? I like to really think alternative, almost. But I do like soul. I love R&B. Um, I don't know if I really found a lane that I can categorize in. Mm. But if I had to pick, it would be R&B. Maybe Neo Soul. Neo so you talking like India R.E. meets? Yeah. Maybe Lil Jill Scott. Jill Scott. Lil Lauren Hill. Yeah. Just be on time. <laughs> <laughs> Be time, but you know, <laughs> try to be on time. You're looking, she made it to the last flat stage. <laughs> Pussy bum the last flat stage. <laughs> Who's your favorite performer? Michael Jackson. Michael Joseph Jackson. <laughs> Michael Joseph Jackson. I said what I said. <laughs> what I said. Is that really his middle name? Is it really Joseph? Joseph, yes. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. I need to Google that. <laughs> Somebody Google that and comment it. He's the best performer. I was gonna, I thought you were gonna favorite. say him or you know who else I thought I was gonna say? Who? Beyonce. She gets an honorable mention. That's my girl. Love B, Queen B, hands down. I used to She's talk. my favorite living performer right now and artist. I used to talk to a chick. And she forced me to sit through like Beyonce and her performances is that they just outstanding. She be killing it. Who's seeing her? She ain't no diva. <laughs> I'm just kicked out the wobble hop. Don't kick us out, please. <laughs> I thought we was gonna get kicked out. They them back this girl up. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs>
So you can say that you're a Beyonce fan. I can't say a fan. Like her music, from a straight man perspective, I don't have to listen to Beyonce. I don't have to go out my way. It gets forced upon you. Because everybody's playing her new stuff and it's on your timeline whether you like it or not. Straight man's top list for Beyonce songs. The straight man, you you uh, comment if you agree. Uh, top five. Love on top. Rock, rock it. Mm. Let me sit this. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got a real good memory to that song. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I can remember the videos. Single oh, ladies? Drunk in Love. No, I didn't like Single Ladies. Drunk in Love? The single Ladies. They played the hell out of Single Ladies. Uh, yeah, Drunk in Love. So, Love on, love in, love on Top. Drunk in Love. What else did I say? Rocket. Rocket. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got two more. No, 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 no. What's the one? No, 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 no. What's the one with Sean Paul? Baby Boy. That one. That shit slapped. Yeah. It did. Okay, that's my list. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, do I have one more? You got one more. Damn. Okay, my last one, only because I can't, I'm thinking too hard to remember that other one. I'm going to say Me, Myself, and I. Mm, that's a good one. That's a cold jam, too. Over 20 years now. Now, do you feel like you're going to use sex in your videos? I be thinking about that, and I'd rather not. I've done new shoes, too. I've done new shoes before, mm -hmm. but so I what's it for this? myself. Oh. Yeah, I've never like published them or. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I don't, see, I don't see a problem with being sensual. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you can be sexy and feminine, but raunchy and like just overly sexual. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I do that with my close friends, and you know, <laughs> that's it. That the music business is degrading black women. Absolutely. With the image, with the imagery that's trying to portray. Absolutely. So you think Sexy Red and Ice Spice and whoever else? I'd say, a, I'd say a solid 90% of my feed, they're like, men and women are condemning, you know, that her behavior just because it's so outrageous and egregious. Um, that I think it's safe to say that everybody is on the same cognitive level is in this is not what we want representing us in entertainment and black people have been saying that for years you know what i'm saying but why is it selling it's because we aren't the ones it's still that, being consumed but this is the thing about it. if you put stuff out there people are going to consume it you know it's people out there i know you've seen that girl who she just stand there and like ice cream so good yes <laughs> ice cream so good oh my god yeah you know what I'm right, talking about. Like yeah. And the Spider NPC. And yeah, and the Spider Man dude. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to shit on them or none of whatever. If that's your weird nerdy shit, do that. And you know, you should be free to do that. But my point is people gon' they gonna consume it regardless. But when you have people that that control what's being put in the forefront, you know that it's them. Cause we already done said we don't wanna see this bullshit. But they're the ones who keep recircling it and recycling it. Who's controlling? Uh, Jewish people are, are, are the, the main ones over um, sports, entertainment, yeah. media, uh, rap, everything that we consume, video games. This ain't no billion dollar black people that, that give a damn about our image. Because otherwise we would see a lot more positive things. Yeah. But we don't see that. A lot of times when we see these movies, what is it? It's a lot of corny ass little fucking jokes. Um, or they forcing and... I'm not trying to get into that conversation, but they forcing like, oh, it's a black person who's best friends with a trans person and, and they got a white husband and a mixed kid. Like they just force all this stuff. We don't just have like black movies and sci-fi and shit. It's all gonna be grouped together with all these other um, groups. That's why we gotta have our own representation at those levels. But until we're at those levels or we just create our own lane, then they're gonna be the ones that control and, and decide what they want at the forefront. Because we already know, hey, like this is some bullshit. This is like a menstrual representation yeah. of us. It isn't accurate in any way, shape, or form. And we all know that black people are not a monolith. We know that there's nerdy, scientific 
um, but we also know that there's black good people. Rat, ratchet, Absolutely, barefoot. there is. And then Sim Simba had made an excellent point one day. He said, uh, I was watching him in an interview. He said he don't think that it's we shouldn't have it because people love the mafia movies and shit like that. You know, with the gang stuff, it's it's interesting. We all love entertainment. And I don't think that black people, we shouldn't be confined to just doing something educational. We should be allowed to do that. So it's just not enough balance. Most of those two movies, I'm happy for them people making them movies, but it's like relationship based or some gangster shit. Gangster shit. Because <laughs> that's, that's, that's low budget. That's what we can afford right now. So yeah. once we get the capital and yeah. invest enough in our stuff, that we'll see more of those projects. And then when we do those things, we can have that stuff that's up there on those levels, like those big mafia films that everybody loves. Snowfall did a great job. Mm -hmm. It just depends. Yeah, I just feel like artists need to continue putting out their content and chasing the dream. And the strike is over. The strike is over, finally. Mm -hmm. Putting their ideas out there. Yeah, their, their own ideas. More creativity. Yeah. Variety. Variety. Not just the same old, same old. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Alright, ready to dip out? Yep, yep, yep.